So today is moving day. We are moving Jack down into the basement and we are moving our office out of our bedroom and this room is going to be somehow we're going to fit a guest slash office in here and have a full shipping area set up because we have gotten so busy thanks to you guys ordering paint that we've got to have a better shipping situation. Shipping packages on my bench at the end of my bed is just not going to work anymore. So we're going to take down the bunk bed, move up the queen size bed and move in the desk. Aha, uh -huh, there's all the missing toys. Are we going to put these curtains down there? May as well. I'm sure your mom would love them. She's the one that lives, that's going to be in the guest bedroom 90% of the time. Yeah, well we have blue curtains that are, leave the rod up, just take the curtains down. Okay. We have blue curtains that can go in here for time being. And we have, we should have a rod for all the mystery toys that the kids don't care about, right? Can you give me a trash bag? Yeah. No, Jack fell asleep with this one the other day. That's why it fell down there. Should we repaint this? I'm not going to worry about it. Part. So while the kids are away and we're moving bedrooms and mattresses, this is what we do. <laughs> Faster than you thought, huh? <laughs> My butt slid fast. Putting that bed? Yeah, we could use that queen size bed that we just got yesterday. But it's so, it's too big for that room. Ah, uh, it's super ornate. Your mom would love it. She would love it. We'll paint it bright red, distress it up a little bit. Not paint, no, we're done with red. I'm gonna make this bed. <laughs> Maybe a white? No. We painted it red, the no. one that's down there, because your mom likes have, red. I know, but we can't have a headboard and a footboard. That's true. Oh, curtain. Small of a room. So we're washing Jack's, uh, little city rug here. It's wool, right? This is yeah, wool? Yeah, it's wool. It's from Pottery Barn. I bought it like used for like $35. They're like normally, I keep saying like, they're about four or $500 normally for the nice wool rugs. But Jack likes to take little uh, fruit drinks into his room. He sneaks them in. This and we've is got... from when you were babysitting. <laughs> no, was I wasn't watching. Yes, anything. I came home and the rug was like trashed. <laughs> And I've never cleaned it. So we're gonna hopefully try to get these stains out so we can put it down in the boys' room. Cause I feel like if you put rugs in kids' rooms, it protects the carpet. It's a heck of a lot cheaper to replace a rug than it is to replace the carpet. And you can take them outside and scrub them down. And this is probably the complete wrong way to clean a wool rug and I don't really care. So I'm just gonna spray it down with some spot. It says instant spot remover, but this whole thing is a spot. So I'm scrub. Spray it down, then I'll come scrub it, and then spray it with a hose, and then get the carpet cleaner out. Broken. Yeah. These are all dry rotted and broken. Ah. Oops, sorry. Did you notice it smells better in here? <laughs> <laughs> I put that in here the other day, I was like, oh.
Let's open this up. I'm just spread them out. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Got it in the pins? There we go. All right. Mommy, get down. I get out like this. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of yeah. yeah. Alright, these packages came today. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm thinking it's my Jamie Ray Vintage logo wear. I wish that would have pre-cut these. Challenged. Hi, Jack. All right. Woo -woo. Ooh, it is the shirts. We it guessed is. right. It's all of the shirts. Oh, I didn't know they were all coming. So. Oh, it's got shirts for me too. These are Zabs. All right. He has two of these. This is Zeb's first shirt. He designed Sweet. it himself with my approval. <laughs> Hang on, let me get a close up of the logo. Whoop, whoop. Sweet. I'll have All to right. try that on. He has these in two colors. Let's see, this is Caitlin's hoodie, I'm guessing. Caitlin, if you're watching, here's your hoodie. This is our farm house. Print. It comes in a hoodie and a t-shirt. And let's see if there's anything for me in here. Ooh, open this one. I'm pretty sure this is mine. Ow, God. Is that the uh, regular yeah, style or is that the, the women's cut? This is cut? a unisex t-shirt. This yeah, is not the women's blah, blah, cut. I'll show you how it fits. Hopefully it fits me. Just order to so this is a Here, medium. Pull that tag the, off. <laughs> huh? That tag is shiny. Oh yeah. This is a medium in the unisex. So kind of give you a size. I weigh about 160 pounds, a little less. This is how medium fits. So this is Zeb's logo in the unisex and medium. Okay. If you buy this like jersey knit, it's a little bit tighter fitting than the solid colors. Just to let you know. I would say this is definitely like a women's medium. So if you wear a men's medium, you'll want to size up in these jersey knits. Which I think Zeb got a heathered shirt, so we'll see how that fits his. I'm gonna have to start working out. His dad bod. <laughs> okay, so now we are unboxing my box that has my bag in it. I paint stuff, it makes me happy. I think this is gonna be my new um, church bag. It's pretty cute. And then, I have needed this. This is my phone case. Yeah, you already broke your protective glass on your I know. case. I have to get new glass put on my brand new phone. Okay, there you go. So I ordered a seven case, not a seven plus. So this will be a giveaway. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, let's see, here's my hoodie. I don't remember what my hoodie says, but I think it's just the Jamie Ray Vintage logo. Ta-da! Here's my Jamie Ray Vintage hoodie. Is it? Is it? Cute. I like that they have the pockets on the front. Does Which that one, one have the pockets? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and... 
Here is my Jamie Ray Vintage leggings. These are the yoga pant ones with the Jamie Ray Vintage birds all over them. Do they have the logo on the back? Yeah, they oh, have the logo for... on the back. And they have the logo on the inside too. In case nice. you forget who you are. Dude, what size are these? These are large. Good thing I lost some weight. All right, well, we'll try these on. And then I also will try on this I Heart Chippy Paint shirt. So here is the I Heart Chippy Paint. I would say that the women's cut shirts and the women's yoga pants, I would say they run a little small because I normally a large is a little big on me. And this large is definitely snug. So if you're normally a large in, it's more like a large in juniors. So if you normally wear a large in women's, I would size up to an XL in the pants and in the shirt. But I like it. Look at this. This is the boys' closet. It's kind of a walk-in closet, kind of not. There's some shelving over here I'll show you in a second. But they're short. They don't have dresses or pants or anything that's gonna hang down this far. So we're gonna take some curtain rod and these, these uh, pole sockets and just screw them in and give them triple the storage for clothing. I'm gonna put two more of these rods up so they can have like shorts down low and pants and shirts and whatever they need because they're just little guys. They're six and three. All right, so I'm gonna leave 24 inches from the floor for the shorts hanger rod. And then I'll do another probably 24 inches which will put, which will put me right here for pants. And then they'll have about another 24 for shirts. So you put the one end in and then it just slides in and sits there just like that. We've moved everything down here into Jack's room. You've seen Zeb get the triple rod up. It's a little tight, but it's really the only way we were gonna be able to fit all of Jack's clothes in that itty bitty space and maximize it. We've got the boys condensed down to one dresser, one toy box, bunk beds. The It's not gonna be complete. We wanted to get everything done today, but we've gotta still add curtains and Zeb's gonna build a desk. But here's the dresser. You can see that Redrick has done some zebra stripe distressing on it already. Someday I might repaint it, but we've got the boys all down to these four drawers they each get two and then we've got the bunk beds over here they'll probably wind up with their heads over here so they can watch TV but we've got in there and then we've got two rugs down I know it's not like design standard to put two mixed match rugs but my kids are horrible and they like to make well they're not horrible they're horrible messes I should say and they like to get stuff everywhere so this protects the carpets underneath and then if they get real bad we can just throw them away and buy new rugs we've also condensed the boys down to one toy this is like toy box so we've got little toys here big toys there books jack doesn't really read a lot but we like to read to him and then this the books and probably the coloring stuff will be with the desk once we get the desk done we'll get that kind of organized in there right Zeb? yes he says yes so those will be leaving but for right now they're gonna be there and then we have one bin of stuffed animals so if any more stuffed animals come in here something has to go because it's full all right guys so remember when i bought these bins these are my ikea bins i have four where's the other bin i don't know <laughs> already missing one. I don't know. Well, anyways, I've got four bins, but I've got three in here. This one is empty. I'm sure that we'll find a use for it, but then we've got, they, uh, Redrick and Jack are three years apart, but Redrick is skinny and Jack is fat, so they wear the same size socks. He's so just a little fluffy. He's just a little fluffy, yeah, and Redrick's really skinny, so they wear the same size socks, so we've got socks and then underwear. Uh, you know, I guess if you, you probably wouldn't want to share underwear, but when you come from a family of five, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. For simplicity's sake, we just have them all together. 
So this is progress on the guest slash office. My parents visit us probably, what, is that two months out of the year? I would say it trickles into three months out of the year. <laughs> two plus months a year, plus um, my brother, well, Zeb's brother and sister-in-law, Ty and Mariah, come up a lot, so it'll be nice to have a dedicated guest room. We've got a queen-size bed. This was the bed that was in Redrick's room. I just pulled bedding. I didn't buy anything. Yeah, Redrick, yet. the tiniest kid in the house, was enjoying a queen-size bed every yeah. night. Yeah, well, he got kicked out every time family come, but now family came. Now they'll just bunk together. They like sleeping together anyways, but yeah, so I didn't buy anything except for two pillowcases. This is all bedding that we already had. These aren't like optimum curtains for this color scheme, but it's what I had. They block the light, so we're good. This is where the desk is going to go. So we'll have desk, 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 probably something at an angle here just to use up the whole space, probably some shelving maybe. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I'm thinking for a nightstand, we're going to probably get a, uh, what are those called? A file, file cabinet. cabinet. That's the word. File yeah, cabinet. we're going to get a file cabinet and we'll plate the top so it'll actually be a nightstand. But then I can keep my files in there for business purposes. And the office is getting completely out of our room and we've got some plans to revamp our bedroom too. So we'll have lots of room tours coming up and we'll give you lots of tips and tricks for ideas. As always, very practical, not stuff that costs a lot of money, but stuff that looks good and works for your family. Thanks for watching our video. We got our guest room moved upstairs, which will be our office once Seb builds the desk, right? Yep, I'm gonna build a really cool farmhouse style desk. It'll be awesome, I have ideas. Farmhouse style desk? Yeah, uh, I'll run it by her first, but you know. Tonight, we're gonna be measuring and designing when we're done with this video. Um, we're also building a desk for the boys, so that way Redrick has somewhere to do his homework and they have somewhere to color and read. Um, this bedroom turned out actually with way more space than I thought. The queen size bed that's upstairs um, it used to be down here and it took up a lot of space so even with the boys combining I feel like there's more room yeah they've got a lot of room to play a lot of floor space the whole rug fits on the floor so that's good yeah and we cut down we went from two toy boxes to one toy box two dressers to one dresser and two closets to one closet the triple shelf idea actually worked out pretty well it's kind of tight but all of his clothes are on one side of the closet so I consider it a win be sure to go by jamierayvintage.com and get your logo wear Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY. Mm -hmm.